Now let's look at the relationship between heat capacity at constant pressure and heat capacity at constant volume. And what we're going to show is that they're related just by this factor of R, or this should be NR, sorry, NR. To show that, let's start with the definition of enthalpy. All right, definition of enthalpy would be H is equal to U plus PV. Or let's write this in the differential form. dH is equal to du plus dPV. And the constant pressure this is equal to du plus, sorry, PDV. Constant pressure. And now we're going to make the assumption that we have an ideal gas. And the equation of state for an ideal gas is PV is equal to nRT. So we can substitute this as du plus P. This means that V is equal to nRT over P. So that dV is d nRT over P. So this is d nRT over P. And constant pressure, ideal gas. And let's do constant number of moles N so that this NR can be pulled out. And also P, we have constant P, is equal to DU plus P times NR over P DT. The P's cancel out. So this is just equal to DU plus NR DT. Now what we're going to realize is that remember from uh, lecture three, or I think it was lecture three, or maybe lecture two, that DH is just equal to heat capacity, Cp, times dt, and that du is equal to heat capacity, Cv, constant volume, constant pressure, dt. Remember those two things. So that this is equal to du, we'll substitute into that, dh, there's dh, we'll substitute that. So this is just Cp dt is equal to Cv, substituting in for what du is, Cv dt, plus nr dt, or in other words, as dt's go away, cp is equal to cv plus nr. So this gives you the relationship between the heat capacity at constant pressure and the heat capacity at constant volume. That's just the, the heat capacity at constant pressure is the constant volume heat capacity plus nr. The heat capacity at constant pressure is greater than the heat capacity at constant volume and for an ideal gas that is n number of moles in the system plus r. So what do we do? We start from the definition of enthalpy that was defined that way. We made some assumptions, constant pressure, ideal gas, constant n, and we were able to derive the relationship between heat capacity at constant volume and heat capacity at constant pressure.